Over the years, I've built a number of websites for local nonprofit organizations in an effort to keep my skills sharp. One thing that doesn't change for me whenever I build these type of websites is I still want the absolute utmost performance possible out of the website. I'm always eager to try out new products, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Airlift plugin, which is a free performance optimization plugin. Nowadays, half the battle is with your web host and your page builder or your theme of choice, but most of the time you can still get fairly satisfactory scores right out of the box. However, it can be difficult to get over that 80% mark in tools like PageSpeed Insights and GT Metrics. We're going to take a look at a real website of mine and we're going to see what Airlift can do to this particular website. So this is a real live website that I've had for a number of years for a local nonprofit organization. And you can see according to PageSpeed Insights that the performance score is 80 on mobile and on the desktop, it does really well. But primarily the mobile things is going to be, you know, largest content, full paint type things, serving images in next gen formats, eliminating render blocking resources and so on. And this is going to be just, we're going to see what Airlift can do. So I'm going to take this URL and in the Airlift dashboard, we're going to walk through this all together. So we're going to add this site. We'll click on continue here. And I'm a fan whenever I'm working with these dashboard type products to just manually install it. So we're gonna go to download. And then in the admin panel of this website, we're gonna go to add new plugin. We're going to just upload that. So here's the Airlift plugin and we'll install this. We'll click on activate. And it looks like as soon as I activate it, it's going to switch over to this page here and analyze the site. So let's see all of the stuff that it comes up with in this report. It looks like it's going to analyze the site before it performs any kind of optimization. And then hopefully we'll get a before and after report here. If this dashboard looks familiar to you and this logo looks familiar, this is the same company behind Blog Vault. So it probably looks and feels fairly familiar if you've ever looked at or used Blog Vault. Okay, so that initial scan is done and it's telling us that we have a page size of 48 kilobytes load time of right at five seconds. And then we have a score of 87. I'm not sure exactly how it calculates that, but if we take a look at the PageSpeed Insights tool, it's telling us our largest content full paint, that's a difficult one to say, is 4.9 seconds. So right around the same kind of performance uh, on both of these tools. I imagine it's using some sort of lighthouse metric under the hood to generate this. And we can see right here, there's this countdown timer. This is the estimated time until it's done optimizing our site. And then if we scroll down, it looks like it's doing some things for us here, like JS minification, delaying some JS. Hopefully we can get an idea of what it's doing here in just a little bit. There's some other really cool things here like preloading viewport images. So our main logo, and then a couple of these other things like our blog featured images. It's gonna take our fonts and convert them to a WAF2. I assume that means it will load our Google fonts locally, which is pretty interesting. We'll see how that works, especially because this site was built with Oxygen Builder. All right, and so apparently the optimization is done. Let's take a look at what all is going on here. So it says our original score was 87, and now the optimized score is 100. So let's just go take a look at this real quick. So everything looks identical here to the way it was before. Looks like there's a little URL appended here. Let's double check that if we go to this. Yep, looks good. I like to check in incognito as well to make sure there's not any caching or you know logged in admin kind of issues that might not be apparent to visitors on the website. So our oxygen menu still does load here and let's just make sure we can get to one of these posts. So we'll go to learn more. Yep, all looks good here. It's much snappier than it was. That is actually very impressive. The homepage loads very fast. I wonder if it's doing the thing where we hover over the link. Yeah, it must be. The preloading when we click on the links. That's very, very fast. So that particular page wasn't quite as fast to load, but I wonder if now that it's in cache, yeah, definitely. As soon as you go to it once and it's in cache, then it's super fast. So let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to reopen this in our incognito page. And let's just click join us. Okay, as soon as the cache is built, it's lightning fast. That's really cool. Okay, so let's go back to our report and dig in a little bit more deeply on what it's done here. So it's taken our page size and reduced it by nearly 50%, taken our request count from 21 down to nine, so reduce that by about half as well. Visual regression testing says that it's a 99% match. I wonder what it's gonna point out as the difference. Must be these image sizes. I'm not sure what that pink button is telling me. That must just be that it's different. Okay, so homepage optimization. So it's taking five different JS scripts and delaying them. Which ones are delayed here? So we have a jQuery script. Looks like related to the Oxygen Pro menu. Then Pro menu again. And then some other Oxygen scripts like Animate on Scroll, which aren't required until you know the page loads. So that's all totally fine. What do we have minified here? It doesn't tell me specifically. It must be one of those inside of the delayed section. 
One of the things that you'll often have in PageSpeed Insights is it getting mad at you about render blocking resources, which often are your fonts. In this case, we do have a Adobe TypeKit actually. I forgot that the site is quite a few years old. So what we should see is a lot of these render blocking resources should go away. So either we're gonna have a significant reduction or all of these are gonna go away, we'll see. We also should see a significant improvement in the LCP, the largest contentful paint here. That should significantly reduce from 4.9 seconds to something much, much lower, hopefully sub two seconds, which would be awesome. And let's keep going here. So what else do we have? Some other features, it brought in compression, which a lot of times is handled by your web host, so that's interesting. Iframe lazy loading, I don't think there's any iframes on this page. There shouldn't be, no, there's definitely not. So I guess if you added one, it might do that. So it's telling us our FCP and LCP are now nearly 100. So we'll verify that in Google PageSpeed in just a moment. And then what we offer different from others, what is all of this? Just some of the things that it's already done for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and rescan with PageSpeed Insights and see what it has to say. So mobile was 80 before and desktop was 98. So we should see an improvement on both fronts. Let's just click on analyze again. All right, so now that it's done, our mobile score is now 90, and then desktop is 100, which is awesome. Desktop is nearly 100 anyway, so not super you know, thrilled about that one necessarily, but the mobile one is great. Definitely a decent jump up. So let's see where are we at now. LCP dropped quite a bit, about one and a half seconds from 4.9 down to 3.3, which is great. That's definitely a big improvement considering I essentially had to do absolutely nothing, just installed the plugin and let it do its thing. Let's see what other reports we have here. So yeah, we can see that LCP has gone down considerably. What other render blocking resources do we have? So still some JS stuff, jQuery, and then the Adobe type kit. So I wonder if we can input this into Airlift and get it to save us, you know, nearly a full second, 780 milliseconds. And then serve images in next gen formats. It's upset about that. One particular image, which is kind of large, 114 kilobytes, we could definitely improve on that with WebP. So let's try to dig around here and see what else can we do. So when I look at this dashboard page, I can click the name of my website here and under the performance tab, I can see the actions panel. And in here, I can add some additional optimizations. So there's a number of settings in here. And of course, there's still room for improvement on this particular website. We can see we brought our score up pretty high and I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Some of the other things that aren't immediately clear to me in how to do this here are like for instance, with the website right now, there's an Adobe TypeKit script that we would need to include and hopefully either preload or defer that a little bit. And that would significantly help our LCP time. But overall, I'm really happy with this because you can see our scores are improved by nearly half in both cases in terms of page size and request count. And of course, having said that, while there are definitely some quirks with this, it does seem like it's very effortless. Now, one question I have, because I personally don't build any e-commerce or real estate type websites where maybe you have a lot of external third-party data filtering into your site is, how does Airlift work with those? You know, I don't know. I think for any type of standard brochure website where you want something very simple and straightforward, easy to configure, you just drop it on the page and let it go. Airlift is a great fit for that. Overall, as you can see, this product is extremely simple to set up. And if you're in the Blog Vault ecosystem or you're considering doing it, it definitely makes sense to have all this integrated under one roof. If you're interested in learning more about Airlift or Blog Vault, please click the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next one.